Today is Thursday, Thursday, March 28, 2024, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our theme for today's article is Your Personal Study of the Word. Our theme scripture is taken from Joshua 1 verse 8, and it says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, for thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Hallelujah. The Word of God takes you from one level of glory to another as you open up to its divine revelations. Pastor begins. It works in you when the truth therein dawns on your spirit, that is, when you know it and agree with God about what he said. Hmm. But how can you agree with him if you don't know what he said? Oh, that's why you need to have a voracious appetite for study. Get to know the word, especially in this year of redemption, where you are cashing out your vouchers for their actual value. Hallelujah. Oh, remember, those vouchers are God's truths. His word concerning you, which you have to proclaim by faith. Praise God. The Bible says, As newborn babes, desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. If so be, ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. That we can find in 1 Peter 2, 2-3. Read what the Lord Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That was from John 8, 31 32. Glory to God. Notice that the Master's admonition was for them to continue in his word. To continue in his word. That means having an insatiable appetite for the knowledge of God's word. Through the word, we renew our minds and build faith and character. The Apostle Paul said in 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 of the Amplified Classic, Study and be eager and do your utmost to present yourself to God approved, tested by trial, a workman who has no cause to be ashamed, correctly analyzing and accurately dividing, rightly handling and skillfully teaching the word of truth. Oh, praise God. The Lord Jesus said in John 5, 39, Search the scriptures. The word of God is the mind of God expressed. His will written and expressed for us. So, Pastor says, now in conclusion, study the word of God for yourself. Understand it, speak it, and live accordingly. Salah. Oh dear Lord, thank you for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. Okay, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say with me, Dear Father, I thank you for showing me the importance of the personal study of your word. A vital ingredient in my Christian walk as I study and meditate on the Word today, I'm positioned to fulfill your desire and plan for my life. And my profiting is evident. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further study, 2 Timothy 3, 16-17 says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Then we have Acts 17 verse 11. It says, These, that is, the barons, were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily.